Greetings, Diocese of Olympia and all who may be watching. During the opening Eucharist at General Convention in Austin, Texas, our presiding Bishop Michael Curry issued an invitation for all Episcopalians to join with him in following the way of love, practices for a Jesus-centered life. But did you all get these? Oh, take them out, take them out. I wanna ask not only you, but every Episcopalian to make a commitment to throw yourself into the hands of Jesus. The way of love was the theme of our presiding bishop's royal wedding sermon. It's safe to say it was a sermon that rocked the world in the very best way. But as with many sermons, there is always that lingering question, how do we get there? In the way of love practices he revealed at General Convention, our presiding bishop is attempting to answer that question. The way of love is what's known in many religious traditions as a rule of life, a pattern or a framework of rhythms and disciplines that can be used as a model for daily living. The way of love is comprised of the following seven disciplines. Turn, pause, listen, and choose to follow Jesus. Learn, reflect on scripture each day, especially Jesus' life and teachings. Pray, Dwell intentionally with God daily. Worship. Gather in community weekly to thank, praise, and dwell with God. Bless. Share faith and unselfishly give and serve. Go. Cross boundaries, listen deeply, and live like Jesus. And finally, rest. Receive the gift of God's grace, peace, and restoration. Any rule of life takes practice, and really that's the point, practice. In a sense, we never stop practicing. It's a lifelong practice, one most of us never get to be perfect. But in this, the practice is the gift. I would like to personally invite you to join me in following the way of love. Be easy on yourself with it. When you find you've let it go or have forgotten something or even worse, went the other way, just come back to it. Don't give yourself a hard time. Just come back to it. You can start this practice for yourself and learn more about the disciplines by following the link below. There are a number of resources there to help you begin exploring the seven disciplines. Our own resource center has begun to collect and share these resources here within our diocese. Sue Tate, our diocesan librarian, will be happy to assist you in finding links and copies of the Way of Love resources. We'll continue to discuss the Way of Love in the coming months and I want to invite you to share your stories as you begin to practice the seven disciplines so that we can all learn and grow together. To do that, contact our Communications Director Josh Hornbeck as we hope to gather your stories and share them across the diocese as we join in these practices together and learn together while we do. Blessings to all of you.